Hi, welcome again. Right now you're looking at a Megascan rock. I imported into this simple Unreal Engine landscape. It looks fine, but it's not nicely blended into the landscape. So now I'm going to change this slider. I need to put the slider into Mang to one. Now you can see now it's, it's nicely blended into my landscape, even with the puddles and all the roughness values. I can move here and there. You can see now it's clearly blended into my landscape. Now let's try to move it this little bit to somewhere here into my sand area. It's going to be there. It's uh, too much, I think, in, in my case, like it's too much blended. I mean, too much uh, sand effect. What I'm trying to do right now is here in the smooth slider, I'm going to reduce that. All right. So I want to like blend only the bottom of the rock like this. Okay. So let's say you want to put sand on top of this. So that's that's also possible. So here what I'm trying to do is I'm going to crank this smooth into maximum maybe. Yeah, something like this. Then I'm going to play with this normal contrast. And I'm, I'm going to increase this and try to put sand just on top of the, the flat surface areas. Okay, I can uh, now I can uh, turn up the intensity values you can see now how it, it works this is pretty easy to set up and i'm going to show you right now how to enable this with open line all right let me show you how to enable this first go to the edit project settings and search for virtual texturing and then make sure you enable this enable virtual texture support checkbox so just click that and it will ask you to restart your app uh, just go with that then I'm going to close this and then I'm coming to my landscape clicking here and I'm going to search in the detail section virtual I'm looking at the virtual texture section and here I'm going to add two virtual textures so I'm going to click this add button and from here you you can see two virtual textures coming from open land just click the first one and click the plus button again and click the second one and there's no order to this one. You can uh, select any, any one you like. All right. And then I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to go to the place actors. I'm going to add two virtual texture volumes. And then you get the this runtime virtual texture volume. And put it that into your scene. All right. And then uh, select it from here and go to the detail section. And here at the virtual texture, just, just select the first one. And now you need to search here on the details panel, again in the details panel, transform from bounds. And here from here, select the, your landscape, landscape actor, and just click set bound. So what it does is, so basically it, it will create a bounding box around your landscape. So that's, that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to duplicate this volume with control C and control V. Here in the second volume, I'm again expanding the virtual texture section. I'm going to select the second one is open land underscore material. All right. And then again, uh, I'm going to check for the bounds. And I think this is fine in this case. And then I'm going to save this. All right. And then I'm going to select my mega scan rock. And I'm going to again check the details panel. And I'm going to check the material. And I'm going to hit this little search icon. It will open my material, in this case, this one. So I'm going to double click and open that. And that's what you're looking at here. And this is coming from, okay, I can expand this. This is the master material for this rock. I'm going to select this one and double click. And I'm going to open the my master material. This is directly coming from the mega scans. Here, I'm going to add a new function in between these two lines i'm going to search for open land and you can see two open land underscore rvt blend and here we, i'm going to choose the rvt blend with attributes because here this line is coming with the material attributes if that's not the case i'm going to select the first one basically now i can set the base color specular and roughness and other stuff and i can get the output the blended one i'm not going to use this one i'm going to delete this and then I'm going to connect this to my input like this. All right. 
then I'm gonna save this material then I'm gonna go to my map I'm gonna select my mega scan rock and in the material instance I'm gonna search for open land right by default it has some blending enable you can see from here the blend is smooth the set to 100 which is good I can basically try to move up this rock so this is how it looks like without the blend you can see here this grass section so now I'm putting it down so it will try to blend with the, my landscape so now I, what I can do is I can increase this blend smoothness value and now it will reach the most of the, the surface but if you look at carefully we are only targeting the top surface only it's not the slope areas so basically we control this we using this normal contrast and normal sharpness so i can put it to zero and i can put the sharpness to one and this is how it looks like without these options basically it will try to cover all the surface with the the virtual texture content and it doesn't look nice so that's why we need to check for the top areas rather than searching for the slope and you can control these values by changing these sliders i think in this case i'm gonna look go for something like this so it will have some sand on on top and also on the on the bottom as well yeah like this so then i can do a bypass and see how it looks like before and after but i think I, i'm gonna like this so now i can uh, simply move this here to my puddles area right then i'm gonna do it like this i think this is good and now i can uh, increase the intensity and i can play around with the normal contrast and yeah get a value like this it's nice to bend to this sense and i like i like it so now let's try to move this into my grass area okay like this it looks fine but if i go closer it's not blended nicely for, for example you can see these textures and it doesn't yeah it doesn't look like the actual my ground texture if you like i can uh, work with the base color brightness and uh, and also also with the tint and i can get a nice look but so we need to first understand why this is happening for that one i'm going to open my landscape material so i'm going to go to my landscape and search for the landscape material here i'm going to double click and open that and i'm going to search for rvt and i'm going to check this checkbox called rvt cache so this is on my open land landscape so basically it will change the textures so what's happening is with runtime virtual textures it will try to map my whole landscape into a virtual texture but unfortunately with the with the landscape size the quality is going to go down and that's affects when when we are blending so in order to fix this so i'm going to turn this off so you can uh, do a couple of options as, as i mentioned earlier you can uh, tweak this uh, base color tint and base color brightness and try to get a nice result you want or maybe you can uh, use a different texture or otherwise if you're trying to make some demo scene or maybe some portfolio image kind of thing and then you can create a very small landscape then it will certainly improve the quality anyway blending with runtime virtual textures is quite interesting and we can get a really nice effect and i hope with open land we make it quite simple to use so you don't need to mess around with the material nodes and trying to tweak with the material layer but you can simply play around with and get the artistic look you are looking for all right see you soon with something interesting bye